Ooh, what's up, everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Brady Botner. What's up? We're going to be showing off brand new decks today from Unbroken Bonds on my side of the table. I have got a newfangled Charizard, Reshiram Charizard list featuring Dedede GX, as well as the Roast Reveal Salazzle in here, if I can find him. I also do have a proxy. Okay, I apologize. Some of my proxies look really good. They actually look exactly like the cards because they're just printed out. And then I've got Salazzle, and then I've got one Macargo who's pretending to be a Salazzle. Don't act like you haven't done this at home. All right, we've all done this, okay? Macargo today is just a Salazzle wearing a Macargo outfit. So that's uh, that's what we got going on in this deck. It's a 2-2 Salazzle line. Salazzle has an ability that allows you to basically heat factory for the effect of an ability. Discard fire energy from your hand, draw three cards. Pretty busted. Should be a much more explosive draw engine than we were working with previously. And Brady, tell us about your deck. I've got the Baby Blacephalon deck, and I'm also playing the Roast Reveal Salazzle. So should also be just drawn through the deck with the fire energy. That's the idea. Yep. All right. So we have got uh, some pretty cool fire decks here on, on the board, and we should be getting a much quicker Charizard, I think, than I had been, though I do have now all these liabilities that are going to be on the bench. You know, the Denny GX is a liability. We've also got uh, just the non-GX Pokemon, Salazzle, and things like that can be liabilities as well. And then, of course, you know, if we don't start a Reshiram Charizard and maybe we get kind of an awkward draw, it could be just stuck with like a Salandit in the active, which could be bad. I also don't want to start the Denny, <laughs> which is something that we could see, but... We're going to get it cracking here. All right, Brady, would you like heads or tails? I will take heads. And we've got our Detective Pikachu coin here in theaters, May 10th. All right, I'll go first. Boom. Brady's going first again. Let's see what we get. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we should be getting much less mulligans with the way that I have this deck built now. Yeah. <laughs> that is definitely something that I am excited about for sure. And no more eight mulligans. <laughs> no more eight <laughs> mulligans. That is fantastic. All right, Brady. Best of luck. Yeah, good luck. It looks like we both got a Salandit uh, from the new set. So I've got a Nest Ball. Get out another baby Blacephalon. Yep. And I think uh, ideally probably just want a Welder here turn one, right? Yeah, that's the goal here. I have a... What's it called? Pokey gear. Pokey <laughs> so gear. I'm going to look for one. <laughs> All right. And Brady doing the correct order of operations here. One of the nest ball, thin the deck of as many cards as he can. And he's got a fiery flint that actually vastly increases his odds yes. as well <laughs> of hitting a hitting a welder off of the Pokey gear 3.0. Fiery flint is a card that has really skyrocketed in price lately. It's only an uncommon. We saw on TCG Player, they are going up to about $8 now. Yeah, that's insane. <laughs> Which is uh, kind of pricey, but Dragon's Majesty is a unique set. It's kind of a mini set, not available in booster boxes. And that's the look of a man over there who did not <laughs> find the welder. I didn't find anything. <laughs> oh, he didn't find anything. Not even, not even a draw supporter. No. That's the thing, though. I was, like, looking at this list, and I was considering throwing, you know, some typical draw supporters in the deck. Right. I was like, surely we could probably fit in a, I don't know, a Lily or a Cynthia. Go ahead. It really just doesn't want to play those cards, though, uh, at all. Yeah, for sure. I've got Nest Ball over here, and we're going to go get ourselves Reshizard. All right. He is on the board. Let's go ahead and show off that big, beautiful Reshizard there. Excellent. And then I've already got a Welder in my hand as well. Zach, Fiery Flint is expensive. He has 20 Fiery Flints. <laughs> on his head. He's like, yeah, I pulled like 20 of those. I know, it's only an uncommon. So if you if you bought a lot of Dragon's Majesty, then you probably just got, you know, probably like $100 worth of Fiery Flints <laughs> right now. Just chilling at your place. All right. And then... I want to use my welder. So I can just throw these onto the Reshizard and draw three cards, which is good. And then actually got like a pretty 
boss looking hand here. So I'm just going to bench my other Salandit and attach the fire energy to the Reshiram Charizard. And then I think I just pass. Yep, that's, uh, that's what we got. So go ahead, Brady. All right. <laughs> we got uh, another fiery flint now. <laughs> okay. So I'm already feeling more confident about this version of the Charizard deck than I was previously. Having the option to turn an Ultra Ball into a discard draw six, or, you know, and then also the Roast Reveal Salazzle. All is very good. Brady, it looks like you just got a handful of fire energy, though, my guy. You are correct. Oh, yes. yeah. We're going <laughs> to attach to this guy. And then Blazer. Okay. For 10. Yep. Right? All right. So, we got that hot 10 damage coming on <laughs> to the Salazzle here. And I'm thinking that I'm I'm about to brew up a pretty explosive turn. I'm going to Judge Whistle to draw one card into Acro Bike to look at two. And, yeah, I'm just going to discard the Poke Gear and Judge Whistle again. And I got another Poke Gear. All right, so lots <laughs> of stuff. It's cool, though. I'm just going to Ultra Ball away the, let's see. Yeah, there's no real point in, I guess I could Guzma, that's probably fine. I'm going to Ultra Ball away the Welder and the Poke Gear. Sure. The Welder, obviously good, but I don't actually have any Fire Energies in my hand right now, so that's not really going to cut it. And then I want to see, I'm going to get the Dedenne, and then I actually have the Macargo in my hand. I'm just going to trade that in the deck for the real one, okay? <laughs> Because that Macargo is just a proxy, all right? So no no hacks, all right? That was just, that's fair play, all right, guys? Fair play. Uh, we all do that. Don't act like you haven't done that at home. We've all done that. All right. So <clears throat> we're going to get our Salazzle out into play. Now we're doing pretty good here. Turn two, we've got a lot going on. Now i got a couple options. I can either Guzma this Charizard into the active position and hit a Blacephalon if I get a fire energy off my Dedenne, which I'm kind of anticipating. Uh, I think I'm just going to do that. So we're going to Guzma up the Blacephalon here. And that's my supporter for turn. Now we're just looking to Dedenne for a draw of six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that went very well. So we'll roast reveal here, I think, after probably using Fiery Flint to just get even more energy out of the deck. Yeah, we're just going to Fiery Flint and get like a ton. So we get to just get four fires out the deck. Thin the deck as much as possible. And I've also got the energy to attach so that I can just Flare Strike. Imagine that I'm probably just going to do that this next turn. I'm discarding the Kiawe. Uh, actually, let's discard the Judge Whistle. Keep the, you know, I want to keep the Poke Gear. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the fiery flint, that's that is correct. Because I'm thinking to myself, like, what do I want? I just want another welder. Right. All right, and then we're going to attach here, and that. Uh, oh, I haven't roast revealed yet. Yeah, we'll roast reveal now that I've thinned my deck. One, two, three. It's looking pretty good, and I'll flare strike for 230 damage. Sure. Turn two with the Guzma, gas. Yeah, that uh, it's pretty good. Guess I could see why Charizard is so good now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sounds good. Now at this point, you've got to just be looking for, looking for that uh, welder, right, Brady? Yeah, I was looking for it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and there are four welders in there. Right? There are in fact four welders. Yes. <laughs> and you have now dug twice with Poke Gear. Yeah. And have not been able to find it. Correct. Mm. I'm going to take a sip. Take a sip, guys, for that one. <laughs> That's for sure. Highly unfortunate. All right, so uh, I'm going to pass. I'm also going to take a sip. <laughs> <laughs> take a sip to that one. All right. I've got draw. And now we've got the... I actually don't want to give Brady the heat factory. Yeah, I shouldn't give Brady the heat what? factory. I'm I know. What? <laughs> um, I'm going to poke it here. Look at the top seven. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, and sure enough, we've got a Guzma there. So that is very good. And Kyle, no, we do sell magic.
So we sell Magic and Pokemon. On FullGripGames.com, we got our whole inventory up so that you can uh, check that out. I guess I technically should have roast revealed first, but it's cool. We're just going to roast reveal. But, I you know, to be honest, I forgot. It's cool. Never punished. I got, like, a Walter and a Flame Crystal in that hand, so it's pretty ballin'. And then I think here that I am just going to attach to my boy, the Denny, and just Guzma up the yeah. Blacephalon with the two <laughs> energy on it. We've got retreats, and we're going to be able to flare strike again for sure. knockout. Very aggressive here. That Salazzle is really, really good. Uh, it's okay, Brady. If you need to scoop it up, yeah. go to the next. <laughs> Feels uh, like yeah. scooping up right, time. Yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> All right, we'll uh, we'll rock that again. Sure. We'll let uh, let you go first, Brady, and see if you can uh, see if you can maybe stabilize a little bit better. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Because we're playing probably pretty similar engines. Yeah. If I had to guess. And what's up, Mr. Squeezel? Oh, I like your puns there. This match is straight fire. You were correct. Do I think Zoro Ninja? I think Zoro Ninja does have potential. The card is inherently good. I think the, uh, what, the Sharpedo is kind of cool too, right? Mm -hmm. I'm not exactly sure if you play it with the Sharpedo, but... Yeah, the Sharpedo seems good. Sharpedo seems good. Why not? So, definitely think that that card has... I mean, the thing is, is there's just so much in Unbroken Bonds that has potential. And, you know, I'm just doing my best to get to as much of it as I can. Yeah. So, <laughs> we're going to start off with everybody's favorite, you know, the Charizards, the Blacephalons. Uh, a lot of the Fairy decks were getting a lot of buzz, too, so I wanted to build those up as quickly as I could and see how we did. I think, unfortunately, I hate to say it, but Whimsy caught me. Might end up being a meme, guys. <laughs> really hurt you. It really hurt me. It really hurt me to say that. All right. It really hurt me to say that. But, uh, but I think that the Charizard deck is super real, especially now that I'm seeing it from a different angle. Guardy Sylveon last night seemed very real as well. With autopiloting it, that deck seemed very strong. All right. You're good, Brady. Yep. Oh, Lily is sending the trash. <laughs> the trash can. Oh, no. Hopefully that's not directed at Whimsicott. Four, five, six. Uh, one, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, dude. This deck is this deck is hot. Oh, I'm into Charizard now. Now that we got, <laughs> now that we got to Denny's and Salazzles, I'm like, I'm feeling this deck. Muck Muck. Muck Muck has potential with that stadium, dude. For sure. All right. Tell me something good, Brady. All right. We got something good. All right. <laughs> that's what's up. So far, this is looking very similar to your last game. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. But this this time we get to start with water. <laughs> yeah. For sure. So you're going to get to draw a few cards, get a few energy on your active Blacephalon. Uh, especially with me starting Salandit, you pretty much know that I'm not getting a turn one attack uh, on you unless it's Grassfire, which let me just stop and think about the attack name on this Grass fire? <laughs> His attack is grass fire. Does that mean that he sets the grass on fire? So many questions. Mm, I'm like tempted to go greens this turn and play Waller next turn. I think that seems good. I think that does seem good. Yeah. Because you can greens for the um, for the uh, the fiery flint. Right. And I don't know another supporter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because I have fiery flint in my hand, but I would have to discard my whole hand besides the welder to play it. And exactly. That just leaves me with three cards to hope for the best. I think that is definitely a strong decision there. I'm going to get an Ultra Ball. I want to get a... Just uh, get the Salazzle. Like, salazzle. Yeah, like yeah. guarantee yourself <laughs> right. the Salazzle. I'm into that for sure. And then I'll get probably another Fiery Flint. I think seems good. Just get yeah. like as many energy in my hand as possible. I it's think like so. what the deck wants to do. Exactly. <laughs> yep. Yep. See, Brady was telling me that, uh, what, the Gramble list that did well in Japan? So, and you said it played no McCargo, right, Brady? Right. There, Well, there were two, and only one had the list out there, and the one that, like, was available played no McCargo, played three Orangaroo, and then just Gramble and Snubble and Ditto. That's insane. I think, maybe, I think I played Mew also. Um, and I'm, yeah, I'm just going to pass. All right. So, I've got a pretty explosive starting hand here. Let's see. The question is just going to be how to how to play it. 
I think I start off with Acro Bike, and we play our draw cards first. I actually love the turn one Kiawe, that's great. And then I also have Judge Whistle, but at this point, I have pretty much everything that I need. I don't want Brady to knock out my only Salandit uh, this next turn, but it might just not matter. So I will Judge Whistle to draw one card. Guzma is fine. I think I might just like not get punished if I Heat Factory. I think I'm actually just better off if I Heat Factory. And, you know, if Brady uses Heat Factory to his advantage, I think that's okay. I already know that his hand is strong. So we'll do that. And then I do need to get myself... Let's see, we're going to judge what's... I need to get myself a Reshizard. So we're looking for that. Let's... I wanted to get a Reshizard and another Solandit. That's like the, the dream, I think. So we can Ultra Ball away those... Uh, the Poke Gear and another Ultra Ball to go get ourselves a second Salandit. And then I am going to Ultra Ball away Guzma and Fire Energy to go get myself a Reshizard. And then we're going to end the turn with just a turn one Kiawe to the Reshizard with Dedene as my card in hand. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, that feels pretty good. So yeah, that's good. <laughs> very. Uh, very strong turn one there, and then we're gonna be able to kind of pop off turn two. We got Heat Factory to Denny. Uh, I could probably hit, you know, whatever I want with a big, big flare strike next turn. So, what you got for us, Brady? Okay. Well, first I'm gonna Heat Factory. Oh, okay. Yeah, kind of like a double-edged sword there with the Heat Factory. I didn't want to put it into play, but. It just made that turn so much stronger for me, I think. Right. So, okay, I'm gonna fiery flint away this Guzma, and I think my heat factory. Yep. And then get get four fire energy into my hand. Sick. All right, and then I will. Um, I think I'll yeah I'll ultra ball away two fire energy. Looks good. Go get the Salazzle. And now it's like you get to Heat Factory twice a turn. Right. Insane. Because you know we're probably not countering that Heat Factory. Exactly. We're just yeah, that's why I felt fine about getting rid of mine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. So that's probably okay. And I feel like if your deck stabilizes, you should overrun Reshizard most of the time. Yeah. Because you could just take two knockouts and that's it. So I'm going to energy retrieval and get those two fire back. Yep. And then roast reveal. And I'm going to go okay. ahead and get the Salazzle so we can put that up on the screen as well. Take a look at the new Salazzle. This is a card that has definitely surprised me as far as how good it is. I just thought it was kind of okay when I first read it, but... Roast Reveal Salazzle is proving to be absolutely busted. And then I'll water and draw three. Yeah. And one thing that I'm really excited about uh, this set is that I've actually kind of held off on doing my top ten. Usually I dive in with the top ten. It's the first video that I create. And then sometimes I look back on the top ten and I'm like, wow, now that I've actually played this format, <laughs> you know, maybe my predictions weren't as stellar as I would have hoped. Right. <laughs> But now that I've held off on the top 10, I'm probably going to get the top 10 up on Tricky Gym maybe sometime this week. I actually have an opportunity to look at all of the cards and see how they interact and then kind of give my best judgment as to what I think the top 10 cards should be. So the Salazzle is definitely making a case for itself to be on the list. I know. Hey, Zach, listen. I know. I had Pico like number seven on my last list. It was, it was like <laughs> embarrassing, right? It was embarrassing. Wow. Flame Ball Circus and discard two. All right, so Salandit going down. And we've got uh, Reshizard here in the active. All right, let's go. So how many cards in your hand? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, I'm going to actually just judge. I top deck judge. So I know, yeah, 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 yeah. We definitely have to do that. So we've got it. Uh, yeah. 
The electromagnetic charger is really good. I see some people talking about that in the chat. Electromagnetic charger is pretty insane, especially with the Denny. I mean, that's just like, and especially when, if we lose Ultra Ball, then like, <laughs> uh, you're just gonna play four of those bad boys. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we each get four. And I've got Nest Ball, so I'm gonna thin the deck a little bit and get myself probably another Reshizard into play, considering that my Salazzle and my Volcanion cannot actually one hit KO that Blacephalon. So we're gonna need to do it with just the Reshizards here. Uh, and I'll Heat Factory to draw three, two, three. That's feeling pretty good. I've got the Salazzle dressed up as a Macargo. All right, you know, have mercy, guys. All right, and then I am going to play the Roast Reveal here. Oh, no, I actually don't like that. Yep, we're just gonna attach. And then I will Flare Strike for sure. Knockout. And that's gonna be that. I'm actually gonna go and replace my Macargo. So there's no confusion. All right, we all know what it is. All right, <laughs> there we go. Right. Excellent. Draw. All right, so I'm gonna Flame Crystal. Get back three fire. Yep. And then I'll let's see. I use Heat Factory. Draw three cards. So my hope here is that Brady cannot respond with a knockout on my Charizard. The judge is very good. I'm glad I kept the judge in the deck, but with Salazzle and Heat Factory in play, he does have a lot of draw. But he does need three energy. Oh, another one. Oh, my gosh. Flare Crystal. Getting him tons of energy this turn. And he may be able to take that knockout. Yeah, I'm thinking so. Oh, and the retrieval. <laughs> oh. oh, my gosh. He's got energy retrieval as well. All those energy discarded. Right back to the hand. Now, what's your, just for a question, what's your, what's your hand size right now, Brady? Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. <laughs> I I judged this man. <laughs> I judged this man. And now he's got a thirteen card hand without playing a sport. Just saying. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Pretty good. Right, so put those down with the loader and draw three more. I have to imagine that the Reshizard is biting the dust this turn. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah there's uh yeah, there's zero percent chance that he lives. Flame ball circus. Oh, with the oh. Oh, Sorry. Brady. <laughs> the beast energy. Like that dog. All right. I don't think the math... I'm going to and get my guy back. Oh, another one? Yep. Yeah. I guess the math does make a difference. You only have to show five. Right. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, cool. <laughs> All right. Um, so, yeah. I'm going to Flame Ball Circus. Here's four. And a fifth. Sir. All right, so Brady's got to show them to the chat. There we go. Oh, yeah. There they are. All five. Yep. yep. And they're gone. Reshizard is a goner. Biting the dust there. <laughs> and Brady will take his three prizes. That is a feel bad. Got a Reshizard going into the active here. Let's uh, start off. I can't judge you is the thing. Nope. I actually need to do the thing. So we're going to <laughs> judge whistle to draw a card. Judge whistle to draw a card. So that's just like horrible because I need to, I need to judge and welder in the same turn. Uh, let's roast reveal here to draw three, and let's uh, heat factory to draw three. Sure. I have somehow not managed to get a welder and two fire energies in my hand at the same time. Despite all that, I found three fires, but I haven't found a flame crystal yet. I got both my welders in my hand. So it might just be like a, yeah, this is gonna be kind of tough. I think I've used both my judge whistles. Let's, hmm, okay. I think I have to just kind of, do I have to Kiawe this turn? That feels horrible. Might be what we got going on though. Potentially a Kiawe situation. And yeah, let's just look at Poke Gear. Let's look at the top seven cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven. All right. So there actually is a welder left in my deck. I think at this point, that's good. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hand the hand down. All right, we're gonna do that, and I'm gonna ultra ball away. I'm gonna bench him, ultra ball away, Kiawe, and welder. And this is nuts. I mean, we could just go get the Dedenny and just, you know, just say, you know what? I'll just get rid of this hand. <laughs> oh, I actually, I don't have a flame crystal in this deck. There's no flame crystal. I am actually just out of fire energy. Oh, yikes. <laughs> so uh, I cannot do this. I need to. There's like one energy left in this deck. I need to ultra ball away the Volcanion instead of the Kiawe because I am going to need to just switch into the Salazzle and probably just Kiawe. Yeah. Um, my final energy in deck. This is horrible. Yeah, we've got one energy left, so I just have to GX. And I guess my flame crystals are all, either all discarded or just MIA. But feels bad. All right, go ahead. Draw. I'm gonna nest ball just to look at the deck. Sure. Yeah, the Victini Prism uh, could be very good. I actually really like that. Uh, I like that suggestion there. So I could definitely see tossing the Victini Prism Star in here. Grammar time. I've got a ton of energy in the discard pile right now, so that uh, could for sure be good. Just as a one of inclusion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Got 10. He'd be doing 200 damage if I could accelerate onto it. So I'll definitely check out that as an option. Right, so I'm going to pokey gear. Sure. And you're just looking to take one more KO here. Right. On one of my rushes arts. You might have to knock out the Salazzle. Yeah, the problem is I'm also running out of fire. <laughs> oh, yeah, so yeah. we're having some uh, <laughs> having some fire energy issues here. Wishel Vuitton is something that people are pointing out. Could be good in Baby Clowns also. Yeah, I can see that. Just to pass the energy and it gets knocked out. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm going to uh, Rosario. Sure. That's the thing. I pitched all the energy to draw more cards, and then and then it just all ended up as a discard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <that's> <laughs> so I might need to throw another flame crystal in here. I think. I have to see how many are in the list right now. I feel like it's hmm. probably a couple, but I'm not exactly sure. Might need like three, or four, or a Victini Prism Star. All right, what you got, Brady? All right, we got Fiery Flints. How many fires you got left in that deck? Uh, there is exactly one fire currently in the deck. All <laughs> right. And then how many in that hand? Um, also one. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do you have any retrievals left? I still have two Flame Crystals. Okay. And I should have one retrieval left. I think it's prized. Yeah. So you're not, you know, not out. Right, right, right. You just need to find those crystals, for sure. I'm like, I'm tempted to bring up that Charizard and Blazer, because like I don't have the energy to like knock out a Salazzle, and it also doesn't do anything for me. Yeah, so, yeah. I think that that's totally yeah. fair. So yeah, so we're gonna. Oh, I should probably uh, like play the Guzma. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. All right, it's got the Guzma, yeah. folks. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll Blazer. For, uh seventy. 60. Right? 660? Yeah. 60. All right. I top decks very strongly there. I'm going to play my switch. Sure. And oh. <laughs> then Denny GX to draw six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I know I just am like out of gas. So I just have to GX you, I think, and hope that, uh, yeah, we're going to GX. Hope that I reveal up. Wow. Oh, baby. Get that fire energy <laughs> off of that. <laughs> All right, so we're in here. 200 damage. Okay. 
I'm going to flame crystal. All right, so that should put you in the ballpark of like pretty close to having it, right? Yeah, I need one more energy, I believe. You have four in the hand? Right. Okay. And I don't think, let's see. I guess I'll, yeah, I'll have to roast reveal and hope I find the fire, the last fire crystal. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna B-string. Oh, but yeah, there's nothing in here. There's just nothing in like here. Playing it, yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. You're just taking a look at the deck. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, sure. I think uh, yes, this deck, the, both these decks will run out of energy quickly, especially with Heat Factory and Roast Reveal. You know, for sure. This is our first, I think, both of our first time ever playing Roast Reveal. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah. Oh, I guess I shouldn't have done all that shuffling because I'm going to nest ball, which is thin the deck because i got to hit this flame crystal on this turn and I'm going to lose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, because if I take him out, I, yeah, think, yeah, that's I, game. Think, yeah. I think that's game, right. Yeah. So Brady needs to win this turn for sure or else he's just out of energy. And we see how expensive that a flame ball circus is. I guess you do have a heat factory and a... But then if you do both, then you only have... Yeah. No, you'll have... Oh, you'll have it if you get... If you play I both. get flame crystal, I'll have it. Yeah. But do you get to use uh, the Roast Reveal and the Heat Factory in order to look for it? Right. Yeah. Okay, nothing off the Pokey Gear. Mr. Squeezel, I am excited for the next set. It almost, it just feels so, like, am I just going to play, like, standard on PTCGO right now? No. I'll start <laughs> prepping for, like, Hartford maybe heat later factory. this week or next week. But for now, next set hype. Brady's still uh, on the Roast hunt. Reveal. Uh, and he needs that flame crystal. Oh, Brady, Yikes. tell me it's not like that. I mean, how many cards? Oh, well, the other one, the other one won't no, do I it. Can't do it. Yeah. No, <laughs> there's two flame crystals left in the deck, right? There's just one. I got the. I played the other one this turn already. Oh no! Yikes. Do <laughs> um, you have any switches in your hand? Nope. Oh my gosh. I might just. Hey, we're gonna. Fiery flint. Bet it's the next card, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it was the next card. <laughs> oh, no, chat. Please press F for Brady. All right, he just dug like eight cards looking for his win condition. Couldn't find it. Oh, Pizza and Mangolio, welcome. And uh, thank you for checking out the channel. Appreciate it. So let's see, if I... Flame Ball Circus with four, that'll do 230. And yeah. then if that's a fire energy, I can win. And that's literally the only way I could win. <laughs> How would you do? Oh, because I'll blazer with one of these guys. Oh, okay. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yep. Yeah. Or, well, no, I couldn't even do that because I can't get another energy back after you knock out this guy. Yeah, I think I just, I think that's game. <laughs> I think that's game. Uh, I'm pretty sure. All right, well, we will. Oh, my gosh. I guess I'll roast reveal again. No, I, yeah, I, I have. Yeah, I'll use this rose reveal. Uh huh. And hope I find the flame crystal. There it is. Yeah. I know. That's insane. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you don't shuffle those cards back into your deck. You drew three, right? With the rose reveal? Oh, yeah. What am I doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah so was, they all yeah, go. I don't know what I thought I was playing there. <laughs> yeah. All right. Flame crystal. What did, I, what did I say? Did I say Hartford? I don't know. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to start testing for Hartford. Expanded. Uh, maybe later this week, next week. Yeah, that's that's what we got going on here. So wait, so okay, so this would be fifty times, so two thirty. Yeah. And I just will be out of energy at that point, so I'll just do it and do two thirty. But I, All yeah, right. I think that's yeah, that's too <laughs> little, too late. I have only taken, not I have not taken nearly enough prizes yet. Yeah. But I will have. I also. <laughs> Uh, to be fair, I am also on my last energy set. <laughs> I am on my last one, so I will attach, and then I flare strike. Yeah. And then Brady doesn't have a way to get one energy left. I think, and surely that there's my flame crystal, so now I can like kind of get them back. But yep, well, that's that's, uh, that's it. Brady decks out. All right. Uh -huh. I know. Must have guarded the retrieval at some point. Oh. <laughs> All right. That. Maybe maybe this deck isn't as good as I thought. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't say that, Brady. Don't no, say I don't that. Know. It seems pretty good. I just maybe need more retrievals. <laughs> I think I think it just needs some tweaks. I think yeah. like the the promise seemed there. 
It yeah, seemed I mean, there for sure. Once I got the, once you had the heat factory down, and I had the soul house to play. I just like I had, I got to thirteen cards. <laughs> right, yeah, right, yeah. exactly. The judge. So, think it definitely has some promise. What's uh, what's that? Is Victini Prism Star? It's in like Dragon Majesty or something. Yeah, I think yeah. it's Dragon Majesty also. It is in Dragon Majesty. I could yep. go get a Victini Prism and chuck it in here. That would be pretty <laughs> That would have good. actually been good there. <laughs> we could have got all the fire nerf back in the back. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, we could chuck a Victini Prism Star in here. I think I might not need this Bull Canyon anymore. So probably just try the Victini Prism Star. Mm -hmm. And give that a shot. 